Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. Today, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. But first, another announcement. We got more March. A lot of people were asking for us to make something warmer for winter, so we made a sweatshirt. If you want it, check out the link in description. Let's see what we are making fancy today. Frozen French fries. My favorite fast food restaurant is Shake Shack. They use frozen french fries. So this is pretty rare for this show. I've tried frozen french fries. I must say this is not too bad. If you're making french fries from scratch, you have to cut the potato, you have to double fry them. This is such a good invention, I think. Shout out to whoever invented this. I hope you're rich. French fry is very casual, so it's a little bit difficult to elevate. I just want to add something more rich. Okay, I've got a great idea, and actually I think this is easy to make at home, so I'm very excited to make it fancy. Here's what I got. Chives, heavy cream, butter, garlic, truffle butter, cheese curd, and lobster tails. From the pantry, I got black pepper, salt, flour, chicken stock, white wine, and brandy. Double alcohol today. Let's get started. Make it fancy. First, I'm going to need two cloves of garlic set aside, four tablespoons of truffle butter. If you don't have a budget buying truffle butter, you just use butter. But this show is make it fancy. <laughs> completely melt this truffle butter in a medium heat. Butter is completely melted, so I'm going to grate garlic with microplane. I'm going to make sauce, and I don't want chunk of garlic when you're eating. But if you don't have microplane, you can just chop the garlic very finely quarter cup flour and just whisk it. You want to cook flour two to three minutes, otherwise the sauce tastes like flour and you don't want it. Major wine, half cup. And when you're cooking flour and butter mixture, you also want to constantly whisk it so it doesn't become lumpy. I like using alcohol, yes. But I never said I like drinking alcohol. Just wanted to be clear on that. I made a roux with flour and butter and kind of thinning out with wine and one cup and a half chicken stock. You have to add little by little. Otherwise, this sauce is gonna be seized up. You also have to constantly whisk it. So I made a bow in this show that I'm going to drive on the highway in 2020. New year just had started. I still have 11 months to go. <laughs> My inspiration for this sauce is kind of like bechamel. It's more like a gravy. This is a little bit runnier sauce, so it will core ingredients nicely. Add half cup of heavy cream. Make sure heavy cream is room temperature. If you are going to use a cold heavy cream, sauce is going to separate. So it's same as chicken stock. You want to add cream little by little, salt to taste, add black pepper. When you're making classic bechamel, I think instead of using black pepper, but cayenne pepper. So you don't see like fleck of pepper, but this is gravy. So the indicator of of if the sauce is ready or not. You kind of use spatula and run through this back of the spoon. And if the line is straight, not spreading out, it's ready. I'm going to set aside and move into the next step. Two lobster tails, previously frozen, and now it's thawed. Cook in the boiling water until the color turns red. Lobster is not insect of the sea to me. Lobster is lobster. So you know lobster didn't start expensive. Oh, really? It was abundantly available. They even had it in jail. What? So it's kind of like people just made it up. Lobster is fancy. So lobster is red. I'm going to remove from the pot. We are going to cook it later. So let this cool for 10 to 15 minutes and I'm going to move on to the next step. Frozen french fry time. I heated the oil to 375. You don't want to put all at once because it will lower the oil temperature. When you're making french fry from scratch, what you have to do is you fry the 
potato with lower temperature first, so it cooks through, and then you raise the temperature and cook again, so it's crunchy. It takes a lot of time and love. <laughs> if you buy frozen french fries, they are pre-cooked, so you can bake in the oven, but I like crispy texture, so I'm frying instead of baking. Fry them to golden brown when you just put frozen french fry there is like big bubbles around it so when you're close to get done like bubble gets a little bit smaller and tinier also there is a sound cue when you just put uncooked food it's not only french fry like fried chicken it sounds like heavy rain but when it's ready it sounds like sprinkle of water so it's golden brown i'm taking off french fries from the pot and kind of spread it out so it doesn't get soggy. You also want to season with salt when it's still hot, so salt kind of get inside of the potato. Okay, so I'm going to fry another batch of frozen french fries and move on to the next step. Lobster is cool to touch. I'm going to remove the shell. It's kind of made a sound. The lobster made a sound? Yeah, it's, it's just, it, it's not live. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Crack it open. It's a little difficult to take out the meat, but we're gonna chop it anyways. Cut into a little pieces. We do have lobster in Japan. It's also expensive ingredients. So lobster is cut into a bite size. Put a little bit of flavoring. Two tablespoons of butter. While the butter is melting, I'm going to measure another ingredient. Brandy, quarter cup, double alcohol, add lobster. Right, lumber time. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> flambe, fancy. Flambe is burning alcohol. Once fire is gone, most of the alcohol is also gone too. So we also made a nice kind of butter brandy sauce. This is ready. I'm going to set aside and move on to the next step. Most of the ingredients ready. We have French fries cook the lobster and the gravy. And I'm going to chop some garnish. You can do frambe or you don't need to do it if you are a little bit intimidated. <laughs> you don't need to use brandy. You can just saute lobster with butter. It's actually very tasty as it is. I added brandy because you know me. <laughs> <laughs> French fry, cheese card. So you kind of want to sprinkle everywhere. I kind of want to put inside so you have like surprise cheese card. And my gravy, I just reheated it so it's nice and warm. And make sure gravy is hot so cheese card is kind of nice and melty. And also, I don't like to use room temperature cheese card so it melts better. And lobster. I like this blandy and butter sauce, so I want to make sure use the old juice, freshly cracked black pepper to add some adult flavor. All right, we are done. Hey guys, I'm Carl, <laughs> and this is Tasty's Making It Big. No, this is make you fancy, it's not make it big. Thank you. It's Thank not you. big. Can you guess what I made fancy this time? Uh, looks like fast food french fries. Kind of. Frozen, frozen oh, french fries. Okay, that's pretty good. Cheese, chives, maybe like a seafood poutine? <gasps> yes! Lobster poutine. Carl is smart. Carl is smart. Carl. Mm -hmm. You are fancier than Alvin. Carl <laughs> is indeed fancier than Alvin because <laughs> Alvin needs to do laundry. <laughs> Who yeah. knew that with this one shirt, I could finally achieve my dreams of being fancy. Okay, dig in, Carl. All right, here we go. Wow, it's a big bite. A big boy. That's true. Mmm. Oh, it is good. Yay! Wow. Thank you. Oh, no. I, I would pay money for that in a restaurant. Then give me money. <laughs> Does it make you feel fancy? Yeah. I feel very fancy wearing this t-shirt. Uh-huh. Eating this food. I'm a fancy man now. I think this is your best one yet. <gasps> Last time you didn't do dance correctly. I assume mm, yeah. you practiced at home. Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All the time. Make, Make it fancy. <laughs> Make, Make it, it fancy. fancy. Yay! Yeah, thank you.
Welcome, Chris, to Make It Fancy. Thank you, Rie. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. Chris is a new tasty producer. He is from Curacao. Curacao, you said it right. You said Curacao, it right. Curacao, I practice. <laughs> and he can speak five different languages. Four. And he's very well dressed man. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fancy he is. Let's see. Big bite. Hmm. There's just an explosion of fancy in my mouth. <laughs> oh, what it is. <laughs> Can you teach me how to say make it fancy in Spanish? Hacerlo lujoso. Hacerlo lujoso. lujoso. And Dutch? Market lux. Market, Market lux. Last one, your native language, papiamento. Hacia lujo. Hacia lujo. lujo. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy.